In the penultimate episode of the series, we are back in Dalian to sample another trio of restaurants. The chicken skewers. Tonight we are going to eat at Hannah Dan's Steakhouse. Beautiful. So tonight we've chosen to eat at a place called Tapa. Already see, just falling off the bone. So come along and join us on the second part of this culinary journey. It's a little bit out of the way. And this was a recommendation of someone, and it's the place that looked the most appealing. So you've got all the little turtles and stuff here swimming around. There are quite a few mosquitoes, mind. There is spray on the table, which looks But it's a lovely setting, just kind of like within the delta of from the sea to Dalian. And it's just amongst all the greenery here. But just checking over the menu now, we've got my wine, which is absolutely superb. It's probably the best wine I think we've had since we've come to Turkey. And we've had some good ones so far. So we're just gonna see what is on the menu and then we'll choose our food. like sesame seeds and it's like a pepper in there. It's, I mean the settings are lovely and the owner seems really nice. But yeah, it's just got a lovely little spot here. The menu seems a little bit limited, there's not a lot on there. We'll see what the food's like, I've got no doubt it's probably going to be good. But we'll see what it's like and there's a lot of mozzies here as well, as you'd expect by the water. I think I've already been bitten twice. Got a right mess already. Mm, no. Take your shirt. <laughs> so that comes like with a feta. Looks like a kind of feta cheese. Ah, <laughs> the ghost. Good. So we've got crispy chicken. Can we try it with one of the dips? Yeah, it looks like a sweet chili dip. Mm. Got a kick. Okay. <laughs> it's like really sweet for them. Okay, you want to try this one? Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. What's yeah. a chicken like? Oh, chicken like that. It's lovely. I love that. Good. Chicken. 
so far so good. Those starters are excellent. The beetroot, there was actually loads of beetroot. And it came with like, it looked like a little kind of cherry thing with it, which would have been the sweetness. And then there's like some goat's cheese on there, I think. And that was really good. And then there's the shredded chicken and the crispy chicken. It came with two sauces. One was like a sweet chilli sauce, which had a bit of a kick to it. And then it was like, we couldn't decide what it was. I thought it was a bit like a, a tartar sauce where you get with fish, but more kind of citrusy. Jatty said it was like... The sauces you get on big <laughs> But it was really, it's really nice. I love the sauce on the beach. That's nice, though. Oh, yeah. But that's what it is. It's like. a lot fresher, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I would lick the bowl if I was going to get the posh what did you think of the starter though? Loved it, loved it. Good, it's a bit different that we never go for. Yeah. Uh, I love, love beetroot. I'm not sure what cheese it was, I'm assuming it's goat cheese. I think it might have been a ghost cheese. I don't cheese. Really goat cheese, I don't yeah. know. No. I don't know. Um, but it was nice because the chicken was good, the chicken was good. Oh, it was like lovely, the chicken. Tasty, yeah, crisp, really nice. Love the dicks. Yeah, mm -hmm. sweet and sour dip and the mystery one. It's good. Like spot on, really yeah. good. Okay, the mains are here, so Jatty's got just a pasta, which is just a penne pasta, but it's a truffle, truffle sauce. How's the sauce? It's just like very like, not too overpowering, it's really nice, yeah, gorgeous. Good flavour, gorgeous. Yeah, good. It's a good size portion as well, it's a decent portion. Yeah, it's quite big portion. The chicken skewer has three huge chunks of chicken on there. Well, I can already tell the chicken is quite soft. Just cut through it, it's like butter. Got a little bit of rice with it, which is like a little kebab with some tomatoes, peppers. Take a pickled onion. Mm. Oh, chicken is beautiful. Really, really tender. Dead juicy. The rice is quite nice, that complements it. And it's got like a, I can't quite put my finger on the, the sauce. That's cold them. And the rice has got a bit of a strange flavour, but it might be tough with them. Good. The wine has been that nice that we ordered the second bottle. And we've just been given a complimentary Turkish tea as well. I had one today at the mud baths for the owner. It's like that's the first time we've had Turkish tea today and it was really, really nice. We've just been asked, do you want a complimentary Turkish tea? We're like, yeah, because it's really nice. So that's a nice little touch as well. What I will also mention is the personal touch. So we booked this a couple of days ago. In fact, yes, it was yesterday I asked to book a table for one of them. But when you come in, it's first name basis and it's, it's just great, really, really nice. It's a good service, really good service. It's a few nights later after we visited Yala Kapkini for our anniversary, but we never did a finisher, we didn't review it, we didn't get a rating off Jack for that one. So we're doing it a few nights later. It was a brilliant, brilliant restaurant to be fair. It was really good. And it was one that we got off somebody, I can't think of the name of the person. It was a lovely, lovely experience. It was a lovely restaurant. It's right out in the pomegranate fields. And it's just set amongst like on the river, isn't it? The only problem I found was the mosquitoes were bad. Yeah, you expect, I got annihilated. This but, has changed for me. I know. <laughs> But you expect that kind of like being where we were and I kind of knew that would happen anyway when we are there. But I forgot to spray my back and they're biting us through my t-shirt. So I got quite a few on my back. That was the only downside really. That's not the restaurant's fault. <laughs> no, it's not. But it was, it was just, I mean the staff were excellent. Like they really took the time to like make, give you that personal touch. Like it was first name basis. I think I mentioned that when we're there. The guy who we thought looked like Chino de Campo, <laughs> he was a lovely guy. I think he was the owner of the place and he, he really made like the effort. Once we said it was our anniversary, he really made the effort to like make sure we had a good night. He would come over, we'd have a big conversation with her, ask about where we live, what we do, all this kind of stuff. And he was just a really nice guy, tell him a bit about his personal life and all this kind of stuff. And the food was excellent and the setting was a bit unique as well with all the turtles and yeah, it was, uh, it was good wasn't it? Yeah. 
but the food was really good and I'm going to highly recommend that place. So how many jackies out of five for Yala Kapkini, if that's what it's called? Uh, actually, I would give it a five yeah. for the whole package, basically. Yeah. And staff, place. The wine was lovely, the wasn't it? The wine was lovely, It's yeah. the best wine we've had since oh, we've yeah. been in Dalian. It was expensive, mm -hmm. but we expected that. Yeah. But it was, it was fine. Yeah, it was it's good. really, really good. I probably would give it about a four and a half. Don't think I'd quite go to the five that Jackie has. But I, I mean, it was it was lovely. It's nothing to take away from it, like in a bad way. I don't know. There was, I would say, the portion wasn't massive. That was probably a good thing. Yeah, I suppose in a way, it's probably a good thing. And me, like, me skewer wasn't massive, but it was enough. But you said it was enough. Yeah, it was enough. It was enough. I was still a bit hungry later on, but that's just because I'm a monster, really. Yeah. Because some of the portions we've been getting went in fact. Been massive in most of the restaurants have been huge. I mean, I like my food, but I couldn't, I couldn't stomach Some of all it. of it. Yeah, it was, just really, it was really filling. Really, really filling. But yeah, definitely one to look out for if you come here. You'll need to probably get a taxi down there because it's. it would take a while to walk there, I think. It took about 10 minutes in the taxi. Didn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, well, yeah, he did. So I don't think he knew where he was going. No, he didn't really know where, yeah. where but he still got there. I mean, the other thing to mention as well is you'll probably need to get a taxi back as well, but the staff there sort it all out for you. Uh, they'll just ask, because a lot of them will give you like a little card. It was like a little fridge magnet thing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Just says, ring this number and we'll get your taxi I, I think back. the taxis are all just one service Company. as well. There's yeah. no like, it's like a different, yeah. There's about 150 lira in a taxi down there, just for information. Prices might change since this video has been made, but that's about how much it costs us. Right, okay, so that was Yala Kapkini. Tonight we are going to eat at Hannah Dan's Steakhouse, which is on the main street in Dalian. We just fancy the steak tonight, we've been driving for two days, well three days if you include the quad bike. So we're going to try this place out and drive his recommendation. Yeah. yeah. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Yep. Which the did? House. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Ribeye. Yeah. New York strip, Sierleer, Chateau Briand, Tibor mm -hmm. Stein, and the cowboy beef chop. Okay. And the fillet steak. Fillet, yeah. And sliced fillet. Which do you recommend? I recommend all steaks. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have one of each. We like it with the bones, or you can have a cowboy beef chop. Yeah. If you like, just put it under, you can have a fresh steak, yeah, for Chateaubriand, yeah. for two, okay. so all the fire shop, you can take fire shop. Oh, all right, okay, yeah. right. Yeah. What are we going for? Chateaubriand, which serves two or more people. And he gets, I think it was a spinach and something. Chips and mash. rice, yeah. Probably like what I had with me, yeah. Um, yeah. Salmon in the day, bison chips yeah. as well, yeah. So, and it looks pretty good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Would you like to taste? Dry, do you want to taste the wine? Oh, wine How's the bread? Um, bread's lovely, nice and warm, crispy. Soft as well. That's gorgeous. Try that one. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I like that one down there about. Yeah. Is that Yenna's as well? That was Yenna's, yeah. It's very, um... Like tart arse sauce kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
like lemon, garlic, like a mayonnaise. Yeah. Probably a yogurt actually. Mm. You know, it's really nice. You ready for the show? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna burn the place. <laughs> How do you like your steak? Medium, please. Thank you. What the day was? Don't try it at home. <laughs> Steak, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the steak's beautiful. I've already had some chips in there, nice yeah. as well. And the rice would be fine, I suppose. Good so good. far. Yeah, good, yeah. Right, we'll finish this off and we'll let you know what it's like at the end because we have had some meals where we started off really well and it's gone downhill from there. So we'll finish up our steaks because there's quite a bit of it here, it's massive chunks. I'm impressed with it so far and Jack is impressed. So we'll get through it and we'll let you know at the end what we think. Free dessert. You like a free dessert, but I don't know if you're gonna like this I don't one. Know if I like this, yeah, I'm not really a fan of the Turkish desserts. It looks like a Turkish delight and it looks like it might have walnuts on maybe. Yeah, yeah I like the walnuts. I like the walnuts. Give it a try anyway, you never know. I'm so full as well. So I'm not ungrateful, I'm just really, really I think cold. that might be a tahini sauce. Oh, okay. I think this is actually on the menu. Oh, 
don't have a speech. I mean, I like the nuts. It's not for me though. Only because I don't mean my personal type. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give this a try. I'm not a massive Turkish Delight fan. I don't mind it, but I'll, I think that's what it is. Very nutty, isn't it? Yeah. It's very, very sweet. Mm. I think it's a sort of sweet. I thought it was going to be like a lot softer. Now it's really hard, do not it? Oh, mine was soft. But it's obviously like a Turkish dessert. <laughs> I quite like it. I think it's quite nice. Oh, it's actually, but now I've like had a couple of bits, I'm, mm. I'm just really full. It does give you that sweet kick, doesn't it, afterwards? Yeah, it's got a massive sweet kick. Mm. Like that? Yeah. That was Hannah Dan's Steakhouse, and that was really good. It was the most expensive meal we've had <laughs> ever. It was out. But it was really good. Bearing in mind we got two bottles of wine in a restaurant a few days ago. We only had one bottle of wine tonight, but the steak was superb. Never had the Chateau Briand before, but it was it was just lush. It was really, really good. It was cooked perfectly. The staff were great in there. They were really attentive. We even got like the free dessert, which is actually on the menu as well. And it was actually like a pumpkin delight rather than a Turkish delight. Uh, yeah, it's very, very it, sweet. It was, it was, but it was actually really nice. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually loved it. It was really, really good. And it just kind of topped everything off, getting like the free dessert. So yeah, I thought it was good. You didn't eat all yours, but it was the chips and stuff you left. No, only because I was I was full. Yeah. I ate all my meat, all my steak. Oh yeah, because and I ate the best part of the chips. Were just huge chunks of steak, nice. weren't they? Mm -hmm. And the, the sauces that came with it was what was it? A pepper and brandy sauce. Pepper and brandy sauce and, and a mushroom. We got a mushroom yeah. And they were they were really good. I didn't really have much of the mushroom one, but what I did have it was really nice. I just liked the other one that much that. I, Pretty much had that. So yeah, that was Hanadans. So how many out of five for that? Um, how many Jatties out of five? Ooh, well, four, four and a half. But that's really good. Four and a half. Yeah. yeah four and a half. I'd probably agree with that. Why didn't we give it a five? Mm, your chips could have been probably yeah. better. <laughs> chips. No, it was really nice. I'm just putting it on par with everything else. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. So give it a try. It's on the main strip in Dalian, and it's up near the top of the wall to the mosque. It's probably about like a little, about yeah, a quarter of the way it's down. Next to the bar. Askins bar. Askins, Askins bar, cafe. Yeah. It's um, opposite an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful. But yeah, that was that was good. So try Hanadans if you fancy a steak in Dalian. So tonight we've chosen to eat at a place called Tapa, which is right on the river. It's not far from Yenas, where we've eaten before. So we're going to give this place a try because the guy at the front mentioned lamb shank earlier today. And that got me thinking, ooh, quite fancy that. So we're going to have a look and see what there is on the menu and then we'll choose from there. Together. So we've just ordered <laughs> fried mushroom on bruschetta to start. So there's like a bit of bread each with some mushrooms on. I've gone for the lamb shank and Jackie's gone for chicken alfredo which has come with like tagliatelle. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mushrooms are really nice. Yeah. With the garlic meat. Bread, lovely and soft, crunchy on the outside. Ah, 
So onto the main, Jackie's got the chicken alfredo, which looks like tagliatella pasta. And it's like a little thing of parmesan in there as well for it to sprinkle over. It looks like that cheese behind the day. Oh yeah, like the, the goat's cheese kind of thing. I didn't realise it was going to be tagged as Sally. <laughs> Could get messy. Could get messy though. Don't get it all the way down your top. It's kind of hot. Mmm. Real creamy. Pasta's cooked like perfectly. Mushrooms are good. And lots of creamy sauce. It's actually quite a bit in that bowl, quite isn't it? Quite a bit in that. Yeah, it's even in there, yeah. Mmm, really good. Not too much garlic. Small. Good stuff. Good. Jamie might be asleep after this. <laughs> so, we've got the lamb shank, which I think it's a good size. And it's just on a bed of creamy mash. So, here's the lamb shank. You can already see just falling off the bone. Look at this. It just comes off. Beautiful. It already looks really tender. It just cuts up that easy. Nice. I will see you again. Some of the creamy mash and gravy. Good. Oh yeah. Yeah, the mash is like really kind of leathery. So it's like proper mash. The lamb. Is, oh, so soft. Yes. It's literally melting in your mouth. Beautiful. And then, like I said, it just comes straight off the bone. And there's quite a bit of meat on there. And it's yeah, it's really really good. Mm. Mm. Very, very good. So while Jack is stealing me lamb, just kind of to say that the staff have been really friendly again in here. Uh, we were in here earlier today, had just a glass of wine this afternoon. And the staff are lovely, really, really friendly again. And this place is actually, um, it's right on the river. So if you know where Yana's restaurant is, it's first, that's the first of like the kind of, this little strip of restaurants. And this is the last one. And there's some steps up. And then you get back towards where Jazz Bar is. So this is called Tapa. But I think it's also called Dalian River House or something. Because I've seen, when I got the receipt, it was saying Dalian River House. Uh, and you can sit again right by the river. We just had a couple of glasses of wine here the other night as well. Yeah, it's after we've been after we've been to Yenas, yeah, and um, it was it was good. So again, the staff were lovely, and I did attend to come across a dead friend. He'd like to have a bit of a laugh with you. So yeah, I mean, so far everything's been great. What do you think about that? Oh, beautiful. I mean, I, I really would be asleep about. I was gonna get the lamb. I'm pleased I didn't because I would be asleep. <laughs> Really tasty, and the meat just melts in your mouth. Yeah, really good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. So yeah, like I say, we're gonna finish these up. <coughs> you probably already know we're gonna give it a decent review, but we'll see you at the end, and we'll let you know how many jackies out of five for this food. So that was tapa, and that for me was. I, I thought it was excellent. Spot on. Yeah, like I'm full. I'm not <laughs> ridiculously full, but I I'm just. You would be as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just about the right kind of level. It was just nice. It was really good. Like the lamb was so tender, it just fell off the bone, and I've hardly anything left. And what tiny little bits were left, the cat started eating it I off. It's like I have some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her because it was it was beautiful. Really, really good lamb shank. So it was a good recommendation from the guy who works here I'm not Haunted. sure what his name is yeah <laughs> but he was right he was right what he said it literally falls off the bone so when you take it off the bone is that clean it just it just drops off you put your fork through and it just all comes off either side it was really really good the starter was lovely as well like the bruschetta mm -hmm. the fried garlic really mushrooms yeah. excellent it was that, like Jackie said the the bread was soft but it was crispy on the outside it was garlicky it was beautiful Wine's been lovely, but we've had the wine in here a few times, like a glass of wine, and it's been excellent. So it's been really good. And then again, like, how was your meal? Uh, lovely, perfect, just a nice, well, actually, I, that, that was stuffed, yeah, so I haven't, haven't eaten all, all of it, but it was um, 
it was beautiful, creamy, and mushrooms were really nice in it, loads of chicken in it. Um, it was excellent, excellent. Well, how many jatties out of the five are you going to give? A four and a half. Yeah, it was, I'll probably give it about the same because, like you say, that lamb was beautiful. It's quite expensive for the lamb. So Nelly didn't get it because it was like six, 600 lira just for the lamb shine. And again, the staff have been lovely. It's a lovely little place as well, like it's really nice in size. Yeah, it's a lovely location. Yeah, we're up, got, on the well, up on the terrace well. as well, yeah, so it's yes. nice to get a look out over the, over the river. It can see like a bit of the bay, like yeah. home room. Um, it's, it's the first time we've actually sat up a height and actually looked over rather than sitting at the river front. And it might actually be better up here because you've got people mm. walking past all the time on the front, but sat here. You don't have that, it's yeah. all removed. I think there's a there's a few places down um like along the riverway where they've got like a terrace and stuff above. Yeah. Um there's a couple of places that we didn't actually realise that steak mm -hmm. place last night um has a one as well, which we didn't I well I didn't know at all after we'd been there. Um, yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's Tapa and that was really really good. So we can mm -hmm. highly recommend this place. In the final episode of the series, we hunt out some craft beer at Philo's in Dalian. So we've stumbled across a little place that does Turkish craft beers. Not too intense though. We also sample a full English breakfast and Jackie tries her first ever PD. My first ever PD? So We'll also be sitting down and summarising the holiday as a whole. It's the end of another holiday. That's that's it. Cheers. Mm -hmm.